the twits by Roald Dahl. Chapter 11. Mrs. Twit goes ballooning up. Is enough, Paul, here to take me to the moon? Mrs. Twit cried out. To take you to the moon, exclaimed Mr. Twit. What a ghastly fool. We wouldn't want anything like that to happen. Oh, dear me, no. We most certainly wouldn't, cried Mrs. Twit. Put some more string on my ankles quickly. I want to feel absolutely safe. Very well, my angel, cried Mr. Twit, and with a ghoulish grin on his lips, he knelt down at her feet. He took a knife from his pocket, and with one quick slash, he cut through the strings holding Mrs. Twit's ankles to the iron ring, and she went up like a rocket. Ew! she screamed. Save me! But there was no saving her now. In a few seconds, she was high up in the blue sky and climbing fast. Mr. Twit stood below looking up. What a pretty sight, he said to himself. How lovely all those balloons look in the sky. What a marvellous bit of luck for me. At last the old hag is lost and gone forever.